Hey, what's up, guys? Tricky here. Welcome to another Pokemon TCG Online video. I'm joined with my girlfriend. Hey, guys. I'm um, gonna go back to the, I guess, live commentaries just because obviously you can't speak and yeah, I can't speak in them because obviously I've not seen them. And not seen them, yeah. So basically, when she's in videos with me, that's what we're gonna do. Go back to the live. But when I'm on my own, I'm probably just gonna do the other ones, mm -hmm. not the quicker ones. But if you guys do enjoy the quicker ones, which I do, because obviously I don't wanna, I don't really like watching like say 40 minute videos. I rather watch quick. Videos, yeah, like but I like the longer videos. So. That's fair enough. Uh, <laughs> that's, it's, <laughs> well, it's, up, it's up to everybody anyway. So basically, we've got this, um, I guess, Bunnelby Ancient Trait and Hound Me X deck. So basically, the deck's built to, uh, I guess, discard the opponent's deck, making them draw cards, um, I guess, shutting them down, shutting the energies down, and it will make a lot of people rage quit. So mm -hmm. let's get into the deck analysis. So we're running four ancient trait bunnelbys so obviously you can attack twice use the uh, attack burrow to discard the top uh, card of your opponent's deck which you obviously can attack twice so that's two cards uh, shovel a card from your discard pile into your deck you can use that as well in case you're stuck uh, maybe you want a sycamore or whatever energies even energies yeah anything you want and then obviously the hound do me x um uh, obviously you can use the melting horn attack obviously it's only one energy and it's quick attacks um, so that's basically it for the Pokemon. Now we're going to be running uh, three Crushing Hammers. Uh, sorry, I, I had to scroll down because obviously they're from the different sets, so it makes everything wider and it cuts off the stuff at the bottom. So uh, three Crushing Hammers uh, for the Picardy of Hairs, discarding energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, two Enhanced Hammers, uh, discard any special energy without flipping a coin, so it helps you against maybe toad not toads yeah toads and if, if they're not attacked already or giratina or giratina or anything like that uh one starting megaphone just in case they're trying to set up um with muscle bands or um spirit links anything like that uh three head ringers as well. yeah head ringers no head ringers don't work for head ringers oh no that's sorry my bad um three super scoop ups just in case they get head ring gear or you're really damaged and you need to get out of there yeah. Um, three Trick Shovels, which I've never used this card before. So it's look at either player's deck, so either mine or the opponent's, and you may discard that card or return it to the top of the deck. So it could help you in case, um, say, you want to look at your own deck and you've got a Sycamore, the next card, and you need it, and you've got a VS Seeker in your hand. Use that, and then obviously use the VS Seeker to get the card back. Uh, three Ultra Balls, just to, I guess, get out my Pokemon. Uh, for VS Seeker, because I'm, obviously I'm running quite a lot of uh, supporter cards, so I need them back. Two AZs, just in case um, I'm really, really damaged with maybe Houndoom, and I can just obviously use it and pick it up. I'm, obviously, I'm only uh, losing one energy, so it's not it's not too bad. I can attack, obviously I only need two energies, so it's not too bad. Uh, running one Bridget, um, just in case I'm stuck for Pokemon, obviously I can get three basic Pokemon or one Pokemon EX, so that's not too bad. Uh, two Lysanders, just to snipe in the opponent to stall them out a little bit longer. Um, one Pokemon Fan Club, obviously you can get any two basic Pokemon you want and put them straight into your hand. So I could use that to get both the uh, uh, two Houndoom EXs and then start setting up from there. Um, for Professor Birch's Observations, just because obviously you don't want to discard the cards that you in your hand. Three Sycamore, one Skylar. Um, two Team Flag Grunts just in case they have energies and you want to discard it quickly. Um, one Teammates just in case you get knocked out and obviously you can use that and get any two cards you want. So I could choose two Pokemon or one energy and a Pokemon or whatever I want. Um, one uh, Zerosic. That's what I was thinking about before. Yeah. Yeah. One Zerosic. And obviously I can use that for the Headringers like you were saying yeah. before. <laughs> Uh, three Sand Labs just to shut down their Shamans or anything with a, any basic Pokemon with a, uh, an ability. Uh, two Assault Vests, I've never used this before, but yeah, the Pokemon has a special energy attached. And what, uh, muscle Band, why is I saying Muscle Band? Uh, I mean, <coughs> if it's a double Dragon energy or anything, it'll do 40 less damage to my Pokemon, so it's, it's very good if you use it for the uh, Bunnelbys or whatever. Two Weakness Policies, just in case I come across the Toads. Or anything that's um, can one hit KO me, and then obviously I get gets rid of my weakness, and then eight fire energies, and that's it for the deck analysis. So let's get into a game, and we will be back in a moment. Okay, and we are back, and we are against Leaf underscore. Apparently, I have the advantage, so 
I'm I'm guessing you probably will rage quit. I don't really care about going first or second. Um, I am first. Um, no, I'll go second. I'll go second with this deck just because I want to attack straight away in this card. The card. Oh wow! I drew into two Houndoom EXs first turn, so that's no. Um, no. Um, what's it called? Mulligans. So it's not too bad for me. He does have the World Championship sleeves as well, which is pretty nice. So he's going to start with a Bronzor, so it's telling me he's going to be obviously running the Bronzor, mm -hmm. Bronzong, sorry, yeah. um, with the ability. Sound Lab doesn't shut it down though, so... It's a stage one, isn't it? Yeah, stage two, stage one, yeah, stage one. Um, but I don't know what else he's running, so let's see what else he, he draws into. I mean, he didn't put anything on the bench, obviously he didn't draw into anything too great. He is going first, so let's see what he does. I mean, if I was to attack this Pokemon... Um, with an, an actual attack that does damage it is times two super effective to fire mm -hmm. so I could aim for doing that as well but he does have the battle compressor as you can see there so he will be discarding cards from his deck and obviously I will be energy, discarding so he doesn't know what I'm running at the moment all he knows is I'm running Houndoom that's it so let's see what it does then will it be energy is that three energies right there I think it was Earth Trip no oh, yeah, three energies energy. wow that's very very uh, brave of him. Probably going for a shaman or something. Um, is he going for a shaman? No, he yeah, goes for the Hooper. Hooper. Okay yeah. then, so I'm guessing he's going to be running the Mewtwo. The Mew, yeah, Mewtwo maybe, Mega Mewtwo. Because obviously I ran this type of deck, didn't mm. I, with the Bronzongs and Hoopers. Yeah, yeah. thought so. Um, I wish I could have got my Stadium card out at the moment, but... Oh, there's a Spirit Link. I do run the... Uh, and there's a double colourless as well, and the shaming, wow. Okay. So he's setting up quite quickly. If I get the enhanced hammer, obviously I'm going to be using that straight away. And he's he's flying through his deck very, very quickly. So it's he's down got to 34, is it? 34 cards, yeah. So obviously he'll be down to 32. He picks up the AZ as well, so I'm guessing he's going to be using that next. No, has he used it this turn? Float star. Oh, maybe he's not going to be using it then. He's going to put Skyfield out. Okay then, so what's he planning? Is he run the Zorark? Anything? I doubt he runs out. Hmm. Well, see, obviously he can't attack this turn, which is fine with me. Hex Maniac to stop my more well, my abilities. I don't have anything with abilities, <laughs> so I don't really care. It's a really re uh, waste of a turn from him. Um, put the energy down. Gonna put the energy down, and I'm just gonna use the Professor Bitch observation because I want to try get the assault vest to stop him. Obviously, doing a lot of damage to me. So let's see what I draw. I got tails, a four card. Do get the Silent Lab and the Team Flag Grunt. So it's, it's not too team. bad, so I can actually stop him next turn if I want to. But I was going to put the Silent Lad down so we can't use anything and use Mountain Horn for the attack. I doubt we can knock him out and if he does get into Mega Mewtwo, 3, 6, 9, 12, 18. Yeah, he could knock me out if he does put another double close down. But I do put the Silent Lad down and he's down to four, uh, 30 cards. And I know he has the Egg Z in his hand. Um, so he's probably going to try that with Shaman. Obviously, he can't at the moment because of Silent Lab. A lot of people do fall for it because obviously on this game now he can't go back if you put down uh, anything. I don't know whether to use or we use a Sycamore right there. I could use Team Flag Run and just keep taking out his. Um... But he does go into Bronzong, doesn't he? Oh, there's another Spirit Link. So he is setting up quite quickly. Um, he's going to Metal Link obviously onto the Mewtwo. Why wouldn't he? Only gets one though. Down to twenty three cards. Twenty three cards. So if I might even actually just stick them on, hopefully enhanced hammer. Um, there you go, psychic infinity for a hundred. Eh, not too bothered about that. I do run the scoop ups as you've seen before. Mm -hmm. So let's see what I draw into. Do draw into the VS seeker, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go straight for the sycamore, just because obviously I can get the enhanced hammers or whatever. Hopefully. And a brand new set. Hey, there you go. There's a scoop up right there. So obviously what I'm going to do is set up this. Hopefully get heads. Use the scoop up. Hopefully get heads. And I do get heads. So obviously I'm going to pick him up. Choose him to go into. And then obviously I can't send him up this turn. But I can. I don't really need weakness policy. So I can ultra ball that out for Bunnelby. I'm guessing. You can put the weakness policy on Bunnelby. Hmm. But I don't really need it though, do I? Let me go. Let me ultra ball. I might go for. An, yeah, I'm gonna go yeah, for. Yeah, get rid of him. Weakness policy. Can't remember who Bunnelby is weak to, is it? Uh, fighting. So I'm just gonna go okay. straight for the Bunnelby. Just because obviously I can attack 
and then get a card back if I need it. So I may as well start setting these up. Obviously he sees my bundle now, so obviously knows he has to do something. And he doesn't want to discard his cards too much. Do get rid of a double colorless, which is amazing. And he can't knock me out this thing. He does a hundred damage to me. So he needs a lot more energy than that. Um I can obviously set up my bundle as well. Obviously he'll only get one prize card, which I'm not too bothered about. He's down to twenty cards. So that's over half his deck, isn't it? Way it's over. A third of his deck. Third of his deck, yeah. Sixteen in his discard pile. Hmm. See what it does then. I mean, apparently I got this deck off uh, someone on Poke Beach, and apparently they won a few tournaments with it. So I'm testing it out just to see. A lot of people have suggested a lot of changes. So if you guys suggest any changes, let me know, and I will make those changes. But at the moment, it's working well. Obviously, he's diving even deeper into his deck. I'm guessing he's going to go for the other Bronzong thought. So, surprised he didn't run the level ball. Um, he is able to get back another energy. Not too worried about that at all. He'll have three energies on him. Um, obviously, he needs to evolve again. He's run really low of cards in his um, hand, though. So, I know he's, I think he still has the AZ, or did he stick him all that stick away? Stick him all that away. That's fine. See what just there you go, Sycamore for another seven. So he's 12 got twelve cards left. And I didn't see him run Birch. But let's see what it does. If he hits me with for another psychic infinity, that's fine. Because what I'll do is I'll set up another Hound Doom and then I'll go from there. Twelve cards left. I mean he's gotta take out three Pokemon EXs. So this is where I should probably set up the Bunnelby. And if I do get the assault vest, I should be able to stop him as well. So <coughs> he does hit me for a 100 damage, what do I draw into? I've got a VS Seeker, so I could get another Sycamore mm. or a Team Flare Grunt. I think mm. the Team Flare Grunt will work. It'll yeah. maybe last you another turn, depending on... Yeah, that's what I'll do, actually. I'll go for the Team Flare Grunt. Actually, might be... I don't know how many... Um, um If he gets another double colours, he will knock me out. Hmm. Should I just Sycamore it? Because I do... If I get the Enhanced Hammer... Yeah, I'm going to yeah, Sycamore yeah. it. Good, get, I'm going to get the Sycamore back. I mean... Check how many um, energies are in his discard. Just quickly. Energies in his discard. Loads, but I mean, it's double colours. One. one. So one. you can only put one energy yeah, on. Yeah, but if he, he might if draw it another. His hand, he yeah. might draw it another. No, I'm, I'm just seeing him. That's all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick him all these out. If I do get the scoop up, then <laughs> there's the enhanced hammer right there. And, and the scoop, scoop up. up as well. So this is amazing. So I'm going to start setting up the bench. Um, obviously, I'm going to use the enhanced hammer, obviously. Um, yep, to get rid of that. Crushing hammer as well for his bench? Nah, there's no point. Not at the moment. Um, super scoop up, just see if I can pick him up. Uh, I can't pick him up, it's fine. Uh, there's no point using it at the moment, just because uh, he'll just get them both back. Yep, that's so. fine. Um, yep, melting horn to get rid of the top two cards of his deck. He'll have nine by next turn, or his turn. Yep. Nine, eight, seven, and obviously he's gonna have. He can't retreat with this Pokemon. He needs a um. Double he needs a double colors for one, and if he Sycamores again to get the cards that are in his deck, the nine cards left, he's gonna lose. Oh, there's Professor Birch's observation. So he does run it. Hopefully, he gets seven. Yep, he gets seven. So he's got eight. So he draws an extra card. So it's no, it's not my problem. T um, Trainer's Mail. Mail. Skyfield. Skyfield. Mm. Not too bothered about. It. I've got 29 cards left, so I'm probably just gonna. What whatever he puts on this Pokemon here, I'm just gonna use Crushing Hammer on it. He probably will knock me out. I think he can knock three EXs out though in a few. There's the double colorless right there, and he hits me for Psychic Convinity for knockout. That's fine. He get he gets two prizes, which he could actually Metal Link's actually one of his things. Yeah. So I'm gonna go for the other Houndoom EX. He can't knock me out. And what do I draw into? Why Sunday? Wow. Put him into his Hooper. That'd be good, actually. Hmm. Would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. Crushing Hammer. And I get heads. He's probably going to quit, to be honest with you. And then I'll Lysander him into his Hooper. Oh, wait. It's not doing it properly. Um, Hooper. Oh, there you go. Just like the <laughs> Hooper now. That's fine. And then I'll just use the Melting Horn again for another two cards discarded. And I get rid of his uh, Mewtwo Spirit Link. 
We didn't really need it. All about a compressor as well, I think. Let's see what he does here. I mean, he, he's trapped in with his hooper now. I mean, he has to put a double claw less down to bring into um, his his me to ex. Still can't knock me out, and I will be able to um, Lysander him again to take out another two cards, and it'll draw into it, and he should lose the game from there. But we'll see. Wait, he runs switch, doesn't he? Oh, he does run switch, yeah. But I think he, I think he discarded both of them. He ultra board one I out. I know he got rid of the one. secret rare one. Yeah, he got rid of another one as well. I'm pretty sure of it. Let's check through. There's there's the secret rare there. The last page. Yeah. Um, oh, so he but, might have one left. Yeah, but it still could, could be, be his like, prizes. Even well. if he has it, it doesn't matter. I got rid of his energy anyway. And your opponent's inactive. Oh, he's still there. Oh, he is metal links, and I'm guessing he's going to put it back on his mute, uh, mega mute two, which is fine. No, he might do it on two. No, he's put it on his Mega Mewtwo. Oh, did he? You can't, can't you can't put it. You can't put it on. Oh, you uh, can't put it on your active Pokemon, can you? Nope. There's the VS Seeker right there. There's a Birch, probably. Oh, that's Maybe fine. even Sigma. Oh, oh, there's AZ. the AZ. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough, right there. He will be able to hit me again, but I'm just gonna lie him back in. Um, actually, no, I might not actually. Wait, see how many VS Seekers he got? So he can only run four, obviously. And I know there's at yeah. least three in there. Maybe two. If there's four in there, then I'll lie him back in. So he hits me for a hundred. Which is fine. I'm thinking he's going to Professor Birch's observation next turn. Do have the assault vest as well, which is really funny. Uh, I'll attach the assault vest to. He's going to, he's going to knock me out anyway. He doesn't have a. Uh, so I attach it to him. Let's have a look what's in here then. Well, you would have been able to survive by ten, I think. No, he hasn't got a special energy on him. Oh, okay. That's why I said I didn't want to do it. Uh, Three, I think, isn't he? One, two. two. Three. Three. Might only be running three. Could risk it. No, oh, he hasn't got him out. Yeah, I'm going to sick him all. He will knock me out, but it's fine. Oh, I'll catch the team flag running. You can just put it back on. No, I can't put it on his active Pokemon. Can't I'm just going to sick him all right then. Yeah. Maybe try to get a crushing hammer if you've got one left. Or a scoop up or something. A scoop up, yeah. Come on. Do you want something good? Got the silent lab, which is me. Oh, megaphone. Oh, should I? Could megaphone him. Yeah, just get rid of Spirit Link. I know. But I'll get rid of all of his um, float stones. Float stones, yeah, do that. Hmm. If I could survive this turn. I'd get rid of it now. I'll wait till next turn, actually. <laughs> just so if I do get a VS Seeker or anything like that, I could lie Sandra him in. Hmm. Melting horn. He can't take you out anyway. One card left. He can take me out now. Yeah, but he can't take another Pokemon out, so you've won. Do you mean another EX? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If, it, if he doesn't, you might have Professor Birch's observation, though. But what can that do? What do you mean, what can that He's do? He's got to take four prize cards in one go. Oh, we've got Tails. Yeah, he survives. Nice. Survives that turn, and he hits me for a hundred now. Back in attack twice, and he has to take out two Pokemon. And I can lie Sander him in actually if I do get a VSC. If I don't, and I don't, but we'll see. Oh, Pokemon Fan Club. Hmm. I'd hang him. No, nah, I'm gonna wait. Not yet. Not yet. Just in case I get the VS Seeker. What does Skylar do again? Search your deck for a trainer card. Okay. Why does that matter for Lysander? Why does that matter for Lysander? Because i got one in my deck right there. No, but why would my I Megaphone VS matter? Because he's got... um. What are they called again? Float stones. So you take him off him? Actually, I'm not going to go for that Lysander. I'm going to go for the VS Seeker, just so he doesn't suspect anything. Hmm. Yeah, but I'm going to do it next turn when I Lysander him in, so he doesn't, doesn't know. Yep, may as well use Burrow. And then I'll use Burrow again. So that's two cards. He's got one card left, which he'll draw this turn now. And he can knock me out, which it doesn't really matter. Because you only get one prize card. And I doubt he runs more than three Professor Birch. And 
even if he does draw four, I will Lysander him out into the, uh, what's it called? Oh, there's the VS Seeker. What's he going to have? Lysander. Oh, Birch. Professor Birch. Okay. <clears throat> if he gets seven, though, he's lost. Look, he's six. There's the seven. And as soon as, end, as soon as he ends his turn, he's lost. There you go. He's left the game. It was quite close, but what I was going to do then was I was, I was going to use the VS Seeker, get the Lysander back, use the Megaphone to get rid of his... Um, float stones and stuff and then Lysander him into the Bronzong and that's it. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this game. It was quite a quick one. He hit uh damage dealt five hundred, I held no damage. I drew four card forty cards, he drew fifty five. <laughs> um heads flip three, he flipped two, tail slip two, tail slip one. So yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me if you like the, I guess, longer versions of the video or the shorter ones. I know you don't speak in the shorter ones because you can't. I can't really speak, Because i got to speed yeah. through it. But, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. I'm here for you.